The people of Warsaw hurry to buy the latest editions which carry the exciting news that Vladislav Gomułka, Poland's number one fighter against the Stalinist old guard, has been elected leader of the Polish Communist Party. Eager students gather for a mass meeting at Warsaw University. Gomulka, wearing glasses, together with middle-of-the-road premier Sjorankiewicz, answers the students' questions. Gomulka, who has spent four years in jail for Titoism, blackest crime in the calendar of the Stalin era, now rides on the crest of the wave of feeling that has been sweeping Poland for greater democracy and national independence. A wave which sacked from the party leadership Marshal Rokossowski, Polish-born but Soviet-trained Minister of Defence. At factory meetings, the new spirit makes itself felt. A sign of the times, the city of Stalinograd reverts to its old name of Katowice. But few demand a return to the old pre-war days. Poland's motto is, there are many roads to socialism, the Russian way, the Yugoslav way, the Polish way. We prefer the Polish way. There is some irony in the situation, for it was Russia's own renouncement of Stalinism that lit the fires of Polish freedom. But Gomulka warns the West, do not think that we shall now fly into anyone else's arms. National independence means just what it says.